Hi YouTube, and this is J Train nine ninety seven, and I'm back this time with my review of the DC Universe Classic Series fifteen Raven figure. Now, um, of course, as I've already said, when I found this, the entire series, I found them in Kmart, and for some reason, they stuck an only at Kmart sticker on them. They are not Kmart exclusives, and Raven is actually a um, fan choice winner. They had a poll, and she won out. Narrowly beating out a few other characters, I think Vixen, who is actually pictured over here in the packaging, is one of the characters she beat out. But as you can see here in packaging, one of her, well, her only accessory besides her Collect and Connect piece is her button. And she comes with the right leg of Validus, I think his name is. Of course, on the back of the packaging here, her read-up says, Raven is the daughter of a female cultist named Arella and the demon Trigon. As a teen, Raven appeared to the Justice League of America to warn them of Trigon's threat, but they ignored her. She turned to the heroes who would become the second incarnation of the Teen Titans, and together they defeated Trigon. But Raven never found herself free from her father's influence. After several encounters with Trigon, Raven allowed herself to be destroyed, although her soul self remained intact. First appearance, DC Comics Presents, number 26, 1980, real name Raven, Occupation Hero, Base of Operations Mobile, Special Abilities, Empathic Ability to Read Emotions of Others, Limited Healing Ability and Psychic Connection to All Things Mystical, Can Release Soul Self, which allows her to cover great distances, and serves as a portal to other dimensions. Of course, the other characters in the wave, which were Golden Pharaoh, Omak, Jim, Herself, Martian Manhunter, Starman, and Sinestro Core Batman. And of course, over here you have a picture of Validus or Validius, or however you say his name when he's done. So, a fantastic looking figure. Let's pull this bad girl out of the packaging. And here we have Raven out of packaging. Now, um, real quick, here is her button, as you can see right here. It's the standard DC Universe button, once again. Eh, not my thing, but once again, they didn't take anything away from the figure. The right leg of Validus, Validius, once again, I don't know. Looks like it's going to be an interesting collect and connect. But that being said, throwing that off to the side. And on to Raven. As you can see, they clearly have her cape up in this pose. Like, they almost had how you they wanted you to pose the figure in their mind already. Like they wanted you to have her kind of throwing her arms up, lifting the cape. Uh, now, it's not like you have to do that. She still looks great in a lot of other poses. But it does seem, you know, kind of like she was meant to go like this, which isn't a bad pose by any means. I'm a quick 360. Up real quick. It's a great looking figure. Let's actually pick up the camera here. Early nice face sculpt. You can see the Raven medallions, her gloves, a lot of nice detail in her costume. Panning back out. Um, obviously the cape is a permanent plastic, it's going to hold its shape. Um, as far as articulation, Raven's head is a full 360. Well, it's a little bit hindered, but it will do a full 360 if you force it. Arms go up. Once again, they would do a full 360, but the cape is hindering them. They spin at the bicep, bend the elbow, and spin at the wrist. She has an abdomen joint, which doesn't seem to have a whole lot of motion, if any at all. Her legs go out, forward, back, hindered by the cape again, spin, bend, and have an ankle joint. So some very nice articulation for Raven. So let's get her posed here. So um, it is good to be a, that much closer to finishing off the Teen Titans. Raven definitely is a figure I've been looking forward to. So getting her posed here real quick. Um, I wish they hadn't left her cape in this permanent pose, like maybe they could have made a variant where one cape was actual cloth, one cape was permanently po posed like this, but um, to be honest, it's not ruining the figure by any stretch of the imagination for me. Um, very nice detail, very nice articulation, once again the cape comes into it a little bit, hindering it, but overall if you're a Teen Titans fan or just a Raven fan in general, this is a great figure, a must-own. $15 price tag on this chick. Once she, once you find her in your area, this line is kind of hitting more evenly out there right now. I definitely recommend picking her up. And this is J Train 997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.